welcome back to a new video. In this video we are gonna clean up our workshop and build it out a bit. It's not a lot we're gonna do because uh, we have a lot of the other things to focus on but we want this place empty for the tractor and for other projects just so we have space to work on and our wood tools, uh, woodworking tools somewhere to go as well. We're gonna unbox some of them, set some up and make some new workbenches and organize everything. As you saw we already made some things before we even did all this wall and this door and everything. So yeah that has already been set up but we have a lot more to do and a lot more to build. So yeah let's get started. It's cold. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> no. No. I wanted to organize everything first and then close this up but it was blowing quite a lot of wind and you can get sick easily with this uh, draft so we close it up first and then we're gonna organize so now let's get started with the organization looks really amazing but yeah we have a lot to organize it's a mess
So as you can see, everything is nicely organized. We found a place for everything and what we didn't, we put away for there for now. And there's more counters and more storage up there. So we're going to put things there that we don't really necessarily need. But yeah, it looks much more nicer. It's really easy to find things. You remember it because it's fresh in your memory. And hopefully we're going to put the things back where we take them. Usually that's the hardest thing, but usually we did not have the place where we take, we put it back. It was always like, just throw it here because we don't have a specific place. Now it's all organized, it's nicer in here, it's not windy, it's not yet warm. But we need to close up the thing behind this, there's all a gate that needs to be closed up. But first we're going to fix the tractor and then we're going to close it. But yeah, looks a lot nicer. I think this barn is turning out to be pretty useful for now. And uh, whenever time comes, we're going to actually upgrade it. But yeah, let's get started and put on the lighting because it's getting dark in here. are in it's really nice and bright in here it feels very like homey for a workshop and it's gonna be really good work here in dark days and also nights and evenings because evenings are getting really close so like when you are used to working in summer till like 11 in the evening now at six o'clock it's already dark and in midwinter it's gonna be three o'clock it's already pitch black so you want to still keep doing things and this is going to be really useful and we, as you saw we installed one really bright one which is like a projecting light that's for our workshop table which you're going to see the clips now we have already made it but you're going to see them now and then the second table we're going to make is a router table which is going to be kind of like experimental because I want my hand router to go on a table so I can have it up and then slide things over it and router them but first let's make the big island table for a workshop
all the work tables are done. This thing still needs a rail, kind of. I don't know what exactly it's called. It's kind of like so it guides you um, not to go too deep, like the, kind of adjusting your depth. But for now, it is done. It is a router in a table, and you can still use it as a normal table. And you might be looking at this wood. It looks really nice. And why we're we using such a nice piece of wood? Um, because we got this for free when we bought this and another piece and some other things we got this thing is for free We got a lot of other things for free uh, It's just they're very kind and they are pretty much throwing these things out No one's buying them for actual money So they're throwing out this was kind of an extension for a table the table is missing or the table got lost Because their warehouses are massive where we got these things so the table gets lost This is an extension and uh, never to be found and uh, Yeah, it, we get this actual wood like tabletop for free which is really nice and it's gonna work really nice as a router table so the only problem is that it's really not the easiest to take it on and off the router uh, it's kind of permanently kind of not permanently but like difficult to take off so it's not like very easy just to take off and then use it with hands so either we have to have two or just you know the mess of taking it off because you can't put a door on here to make nice patterns on a door you have to do that by hands but it's gonna work really well for planks, for making frames for windows, for making frames for doors, for making a lot of things to making connections, which, you know, connect like that. I um, don't know all the names, but really good. Both of these tables are gonna be really useful for us. Really sturdy and really big, so I'm really happy. And I love the height of this, and this is a bit lower to be a bit easier to work. This is much higher, it's more like a counter, more like a stand-up desk. So yeah, workshop is done, and uh, here's some few more things that we need to done. We need to see what we do about the floors, if we just want to put a layer of concrete just to make it tight, but that's just an extra waste and something that's going to get knocked out. But this workshop, we might have it for quite a while, so maybe we want a bit of better floor. It has the base, so it just needs a layer on top just to make it straight. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, we're going to see you in the next one. This was a fun video, and it took forever to make this workshop, but it looks up. Looks really nice and it's gonna work out really well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and we can see you in the next one. Bye bye. And we're gonna make a specific video of all the things we got because there's some more things there and some very cool things over there. So we're gonna make a video of everything we got.